Today we're making French Quarter Dip. Now French Quarter Dip is a dip that combines savory and caramelly sweet all together to make one amazing dip. I recently made this for cocktails on the roof with the girls. It was a big hit. So Michelle, are you watching? Here's the recipe. All right, so for French Quarter Dip, it's a two-step process, but I promised they're both simple. The first step is the cream cheese because you really want your cream cheese to sit as long as you can. Two hours is kind of the minimum. If you only have an hour, well then you only have an hour. But you can do this overnight. So the longer this sits, the better those flavors are going to develop. And while we're talking about cream cheese, you need one eight ounce block of cream cheese and hopefully you don't struggle like me to open it. This is my new favorite cream cheese. I don't find it everywhere, but it's the Tillamook cream cheese. And what I love about it is that there's no gums in it. It is cultured milk, cream, skim milk, sea salt. That's it. Some of those cream cheeses have gums in them. They even have more than one gum in them. Some There's one that I think is not such a great value that has three different gums in it. I'm not sure why. Anyway, yes, I take a lot of heat. People get mad at me and they say, well, you know, xanthan gum is naturally occurring. And, and it is. But it's also highly processed. And some of those are, you know, processed using petroleum. Just not things I want to eat. They're not good for your digestion. They can cause a lot of gut problems. So for me, if I can find something that doesn't have the gum, even if I have to pay a little more for it, well, I think it's worth it. Now, enough of that. For your eight ounces of cream cheese, you're going to want to do two tablespoons of grated. And grated is really the way to go here to get it nice and fine. And you also get some of that onion kind of water in there. I'm doing a shallot, but you can do a shallot or you can do an onion. And we're going to grate that in there. And along with the grated shallot, one teaspoon of grated garlic. So two tablespoons onions. I have to think about if I said that right. Sometimes I see boats out the window and I get a little sidetracked. So two tablespoons grated onion, one teaspoon grated garlic. So now that we've got that all grated up, we're going to go with a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to do a, just a pinch, kind of a medium size pinch of coaster salt. And then we're going to mix that up really well and just get that mixed up. Obviously your cream cheese should be softened at this point so that you can mix it. Now you're going to want to put this in whatever kind of situation you're going to serve it in. I like this ramekin dill with a little bit of wax paper and then I can throw that in the refrigerator and then I can just pop that right out and then my cream cheese is in this nice round shape that I can just put on my platter. You can just do this in the bowl that you're going to serve it in or any kind of shape. Just somehow, some kind of shape, some kind of vessel into the refrigerator. Again, two hours is kind of nice. Two hours works well. And overnight kind of works best, which is nice because this means if you're having a party, this is something you could do this step of it the day before and then just finish it off with step two. So I'm just going to kind of flatten that down in there, kind of get it into that nice shape and pop this in the refrigerator. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the topping, the pecan caramel kind of situation topping that we've got going on here. So don't go anywhere because the topping's coming up next. And now on to step two, and you're going to want to do this pretty close to when you're ready to serve but it is okay if it gets cold, it's still delicious. It doesn't have to stay hot to eat it. But you're gonna want a three quarters of a cup of chopped pecans, half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a quarter of a cup of butter, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, and about a teaspoon of spicy brown mustard. Now over medium heat, melt your one quarter cup butter, add your one quarter cup brown sugar, and we're going to Stir this and get all of that sugar melted. And to that, we're going to add about 
a teaspoon of spicy brown mustard, and a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And we're just going to cook this for a couple minutes. Just our goal here is to make sure the brown sugar is all dissolved. So we've been cooking a couple minutes and you see how it kind of starts to get white and foamy. And at that point, we're going to turn the heat off and add our pecans and mix them up really well. And now you just want to set your timer for about five minutes and just let this sit for a good five minutes before you pour it over your cream cheese. Now while you're waiting for those five minutes, you can get your cream cheese part ready. I'm gonna do mine on this piece of slate and I'm gonna unmold my cream cheese here and now it's sat and all of those flavors have just developed and that cream cheese is gonna be amazing. So out we go. And I think I'm going to do this kind of off a little bit to the side and give me more room for crackers or whatever you're going to serve this with. Now, one thing that I really love about this dish is that it's just this great combination of savory and sweet all together. It's a great dish. So we got... We have two more minutes to wait. All right, so my five minutes are up, and now we're just going to spread this pecan amazing caramel mixture that we've made over the top of this. It's so amazingly beautiful. Now, of course, you can go crackers or toast points with this personally i really like it on an apple the crisp tart apple and then you've got sweet and then you've got savory it all just comes together beautifully mm. so for your next get together if you've never made french quarter dough here's the recipe in the comments below for french quarter dip sweet savory delicious i hope you're watching girls here's the recipe thanks for watching everyone i'll see you later